Hello, welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start assessing an essay today. The rubric says, young people who commit crimes should be treated in the same way as adults who commit crimes. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So the topic presented here is uh, the, 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 the fact that we need to check uh, if we need to uh, have the same punishment for uh, those who commit crimes and their ages are still considered to be among the young ages or the ones that are considered adults. And we have the same kind of punishment for these two types of criminals or their punishment must differ. And the Topic now uh, the essay type after the topic tells us that this is an opinion essay. Uh, we call it an opinion essay among uh, IELTS teachers and IELTS candidates, but IELTS itself uh, looks at it as a topic that has only one main idea, and that main idea is your own. Idea. So, your opinion is all that matters. IELTS wants you to address that, cover it, whether sufficiently or fully. That depends on how well you can arrange your sentences and your ideas around it. Uh, and based on that, IELTS will give you an appropriate score for task response. So, after this, Let's go and see how the essay uh, looks like. So the introduction says, deciding to choose among the potential ways of punishing young people who commit crimes continues to be a controversial issue for the societies. Um, we should say societies here, or for the society uh, to generalize. If we say to the societies, this is the very first sentence, and we're already assuming that the reader knows what we're talking about. Uh, another important point, uh, guys, everybody, uh, rubric or the prompt uh, or the question or the writing is not part of your response. Your response must be standalone. So do not assume that uh, the, the topic uh, and, the, and the essay type, these two elements, they are already known to the examiner. It is known to the examiner, but you still need to write your response in a completely independent way. So if you're going to introduce something, go ahead, the, the introduction, again, look at the name, introduction. So you, this is where you need to introduce the elements you are going to use in the body paragraphs, follow, uh, in, in the follow-up paragraphs. So use that in a way that helps you get a higher score. Here, when we start we start our essay, we start the paragraph. We, this is the very first sentence, and we already say the societies. And I am a reader, I read and I, which society? You haven't talked to me before this. This is the very first sentence. So which societies? What, what are we talking about? When you say the societies, and you're already referring me to something that it is known, which is not known to me. Remember, this is the very first sentence of your essay I'm reading. And the governments, again, governments. You generalize, you don't need to specifically say which types of governments or which governments in a specific. It's just governments in general. It is argued by some that these people should be treated the same as adults. I personally disagree with this opinion due to the adverse effects, love it, adverse effects, of imprisonment, another good word, 
on a teenager's mental health. Okay, now this is a beautiful thesis statement, the last sentence of your introduction, and it's very well written. I now know that in the paragraphs ahead, I'm going to talk about the mental issue for these young uh, so-called criminals. So, this is going to be focused on the mental aspect, not the budgets or the money or uh, maybe like family ties uh, or the, the effects on society as a whole. We're just talking about teenagers, young adults, and their mental issue. Many countries put uh, the criminals of their society, they put people in jail, not at jail, in jails, considering as a very effective way of punishment. Good. This is a very good topic sentence. Now, this means I, uh, the writer wants me to read first to understand what the concept is. And the concept, uh, the essay here, uh, or the writer, wants me to learn is that, that there are some people who, or there are some uh, methods already there that treat young people the same. And they believe it's a good act. Now let's see how it is. It is understandable that this does not exert a, exert a positive influence on uh, decreasing crime in the society uh, by putting the criminals in an unpleasant situation which uh, I need a comma here which uh, they would mostly never wish to experience again that's good I'm I'm understanding uh, this is an this is a part where you where the essay explains things to me and how it is done uh, at the moment as a result, this could impede them from attempting crime in the future. Logical. For example, hmm, my friend who had been sent to jail for two months, uh, I would write TWO instead of uh, digit two. It, it looks formal. Again, this is uh, IELTS essays are all considered formal. So we need to stick to the formal tone. So TWO instead of two months because of repeatedly committing traffic offenses. That's the correct collocation. Uh, has never committed the same crime since being released. Uh, we need a comma here. Admitting that being in prison had been intolerable for her. Lovely. I see very good vocabulary the vocabulary that is varied, and in the specific case, so uh, being released, jail, these are uh, committing a crime, uh, these are collocations that are mostly used in, in the crime genre. So it is related to that specific topic. This is a very good command over the range of vocabulary. However, now this is the part where the writer uh, comes in and starts to shine, telling us, yes, that's the status quo, that is the situation right now, but that's not good. So we already uh, read one paragraph, and it, it had this negative tone to it, and the writer or the essay is not pleased with the situation right now. Now the writer wants us to learn to know what the appropriate method is. I believe, this, I, I love this, this is clear. I believe using the same way of punishment for youngsters would not be a wise idea. That's very clear. That is exactly what I would like to hear. Yes, you have somebody who stands and uh, doesn't mince words. Just say, I believe this is wrong. Let's hear why it is. In fact, teenagers are at a very critical age in which the core of their personality is being shaped. Love this structure. 
therefore, oops, uh, therefore is actually one word and is T H E R E F O R E, all one word. Therefore, sending them to prison like adults as a way of punishment for their crimes, which are most often pity crimes, would actually expose them to other criminals who might have some serious personality disorders and this would adversely affect their personality as an adult in the future. It's a long sentence. It shows very good command over English, but it is a little bit too long. It shouldn't be that long. I see uh, a, change, a little bit of a change of topic in, 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 the, in the middle. And for a sentence that is a little bit hard, uh, for you know, um, I am speaking as a reader, and for me to read a long sentence, complex sentence, which is also a complex sentence, uh, it is a little bit too long. To put in another way, to put it another way, to put it another way. Such punishments are potential to become a threat to their nat mental health, leading them, I need another comma here, leading them to commit more serious crimes in the long run. For instance, another beautiful example, according to the law of my country, young people are being punished the same as adults. A recent survey revealed that this policy has not been effective so far since 60% of these teenage criminals end, end up or ended up drug trafficking after being released from prison, which had been sent, which had been sent to for a pity oh for 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 from prison which they i mean they again uh, teenage criminals had been sent for a pity crime uh, now this is important uh, i have a missing subject and the reference is missing as well uh, I have for, for the third time, I guess, in this uh, third or fourth time in this essay so far, I have a reference issue. I, I need to clarify where it is, where the reference comes from. And this is not good. So this, I, I, you see, there, it's not clear here. And I, had, and I had to analyze where this, I mean, where this which uh, refer me to. So, moving on to the conclusion. In conclusion, although the ways that adults are being punished in many countries might be quite effective to decrease in decreasing crime rates, I do not agree that it is a wise decision to use these ways for punishing young people as well. 371 words. Uh, the conclusion is again one giant sentence. Uh, it looks like a paragraph, but it's not a paragraph because it's only one sentence. The sentence is long. Yes, it comprises uh, different elements. Uh, but, but, uh, if I were the writer, I would have written another sentence and uh, that would create that would make it a very good paragraph so all in all what i can see so far is that the main issue with this essay is coherence and cohesion moving on to the assessment board as you can see the writer in task response first introduces us to the status quo, to the situation right now, to what is going on based on the topic. So there are countries who punish their, their, their citizens uh, who, who have committed a, a sort of crime equally, uh, regardless of their age. 
and then the writer believes that's not correct. So the writer pick, gives us this clear picture, and then the picture serves the writer's purpose. So it's not a stand alone. Uh, like, yeah, this is the situation. The writer was so smart that with the way, uh, as you can see uh, on the essay, uh, the essay, the first part, the first body paragraph tries to say the situation in a, with a negative tone, that it is unpleasant to have this situation. And then immediately after that, you have the second body paragraph that the writer starts talking about his own belief or her own belief in a direct manner. It's very clear that this is not acceptable. This, the situation right now is not acceptable. That's a very good task response. The main issue is indeed with coherence cohesion. Coherence is fine. You can see the logic. The, uh, the moment I read the very first, uh, the second uh, sentence, actually, the, the thesis statement, I realized this, the entire structure of the essay. And it was consistent throughout, all the way to the conclusion. But the references had some issues. And uh, the paragraphing wasn't perfect either. So that's why the coherence cohesion gets six. As for the vocabulary, you saw the range of vocabulary. It is wide because you had words uh, in the general sense, I mean, as for the range, and you had many words specific to the criminal genre or the, or the crime genre. You had uh, committing, prison, jail, then there's sentence, then suffering, intolerable, those are other words that are related, but still generic enough to be used in an essay. So the range is actually wide. Uh, but there are errors, of course, uh, in uh, choosing words like therefore was written in there, F-O-R, to the two words, which is not correct. Uh, and there were some other instances that we saw together. Grammar was fine. We saw multiple complex structures. The command over the complex structures was very good. It was in some cases too long, so it gives uh, the reader that the, the idea that, yeah, these are complex, me not mechanical in a bad way, but these, these complex structures are there to show that the essay knows complex grammar. And the essay does know complex grammar, but it doesn't sound natural. So it's not eight or nine. Uh, there are some, there are still some error in, uh, especially in uh, relative clauses, which, where, those, those elements. So overall, this essay receives a very good score of seven, rightfully deserved. Um, Maybe maybe it could get a, even a higher score if it weren't uh, for uh, coherence cohesion and its references. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember, your essays, letters, and reports are your representatives. Make sure they do their jobs well. Have a lovely day.